over the past month, I've been testing different all-in-one AI platforms to see if any of them are good enough to make me switch from my current stack of tools. And after all that testing, Polo AI caught my attention. This platform brings together all the major video generation models like Kling AI 1.6, Pika 2.0, Luma AI, Pixverse version 3, Hiluo AI, Vidu 1.5, and even their own model, Polo 1.5, alongside a wide range of image generation tools, including the entire Flux suite and many other AI models. But is Polo AI truly the all-in-one video and image generation solution for creators. In today's video, I'll share my honest review after putting it to the test, the features that impressed me, what could be improved and whether it's worth making the switch. To get started, come to polo.ai. I'll leave the link in the description so you can follow along. Once you're on the page, you'll land on a screen that offers the option to use either an AI video generator or an AI image generator. Before we begin, the first thing I did was sign up for an account. You can sign up for a free account, which gives you 20 credits for up to two videos and multiple images. But to test the tool properly, I opted for a monthly plan with access to over 800 credits, up to 80 videos a month and up to 160 images. When you've signed up and logged in, you'll be brought to this explore page that shows you other things that people within the community are creating using Polo. AI. The next thing we'll be testing is the couple of tools we have by the extreme left here. We'll be starting with video generators. The first function we'll be testing will be text to video. I'll click on that and then it opens up to this interface here at the very top. You'll click the drop down and you'll see multiple video models you can use. Here I'm just going to go ahead and type in the prompt of a particular 3D animation, a squirrel driving a small car. I'll go ahead and choose the specific model that I want. I'll be testing just a couple of models so you can see the results for each. You have Polo AI 1.5 Kling 1.6 and others, each with different generation times. I'll use Polo AI 1.5 for example, and then choose the aspect ratio and whether I want the copy of the generation to be public or protected. Protection means no one else can see the video you created. Generating a video from text takes about 10 credits, then click on create. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Zini. I create videos showing you how to use AI to build faceless YouTube channels and online businesses that generate passive income. If that sounds interesting, make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video like this. I've also put together a free checklist and a graphics library to help you kickstart your faceless YouTube journey. You can grab these freebies through the link in the description or the pinned comment below. Depending on your plan, you can generate up to three or four videos at once. While it's generating, you can select other models. For example, we have tested Pixverse on this channel, so we could look at Pixverse version 3. Then we can choose the mode, leave it as normal, set the video length between five to eight seconds, and then there's the resolution. The difference between this and using the Pixverse platform itself is that Pixverse allows you to generate resolution up to 1080p, while here it's just 540p. You can always use a video upscaler if you want a higher quality, but just to mention this, these videos have been generated. Let's quickly look at the Polo 1.5. So this is the video that I generated of the squirrel. Even though I said 3D animation, this looks realistic. Looking at the vehicle, you could see that it's kind of screeching along and not necessarily driving. For things like this, you could always click on the regenerate button to regenerate the prompt. This takes about eight minutes and it will be able to generate a new version and then you could compare. I also tried to generate a 3D using Pixverse. This is the result. You could see this is 3D animation and the car is moving. Looking at the wheels as well, you could see that it's kind of screeching along and not necessarily driving properly. Like I said, this is where this comes in. This particular functionality regenerates. You just click 
click on it and it regenerates that same video to get what you are looking for. Another functionality that it has within the platform is the ability to upscale your videos and to change the video from one format to the other. We'll test it out, but for now, let's click on upscale and then it's gonna ask you what scale you want. Do you want 1X, 2X, all the way to 4K? And then for the mode, you could choose what exactly do you want to upscale with? I would just go ahead and just say, give me HD, then standard mode and click on generate and it will start upscaling the video for you. Now that we've tested the text to video option, let's move on to the image to video functionality. This is where you upload your images to animate. I'll upload the image of a monster I've prepared for this tutorial, animated walking and click OK. Next, type in the prompt monster walking forward and select the image to video model. Let's test clean AI 1.6, leave the mode as standard, set the video length to 5 seconds, keep copy protection on and click generate. While it's generating, let's check the upscaled image. You can see how clear it is. Polo AI's upscaling feature works well. If you want to change your video's style, use the video to video option. Click the drop down to see various styles like modern anime and Disney Pixar. Let's select cute anime and see how it turns out. And then we would go ahead and repeat the same prompt that we use for this specific animation. So we said, 3D animation of a squirrel that is riding a car and then we would go ahead and make sure that the settings were fine. For the settings, you could restyle the subject only, customize the background and then I'll just make the custom protection. For these settings, I will leave them as they are because I just wanted to restyle everything. It's going to use 50 credits so you are aware and then go ahead and click on create and this would start generating now that our videos are ready, let's first look at the image to video of the monster. Using Clean AI 1.6, the result is stunning. I'll expand it so you can see the details. It looks impressive. Moving on to the video to video function, we converted our 3D animation to cute anime and the result is excellent with no morphine. Kudos to Polo AI for this feature. We've now tested text to video, image to video, upscaling and changing video formats. Next, let's explore the consistent character video feature. This allows you to input multiple images and create a video based on your prompts. I'll upload an image of Princess Kalani from a previous tutorial along with a Jaguar and prompt Polo AI to show them fighting. I'll set the video at 720p to conserve credits. We can choose the motion range and I'll go with the medium then click generate. While that's processing, let's review other functionalities. We've already seen video to anime conversions. You upload your video, choose the style like vector illustration, oil painting or pop art and generate. The results are impressive. Next, let's test AI animation here. You type your prompt and choose the style. For this demo, I'll input a prompt and pick a specific style. For the AI animation generator, I typed in girl sitting at the dining table eating breakfast and chose a specific anime style. I selected 720p resolution and medium motion range, set the aspect ratio and it used 25 credits. Then I clicked create to start the process. Regarding the consistent character video, it attempted to maintain the character of Princess Kalani, but you can see some morphing into the Jaguar. If this happens, you can regenerate the video for a better result. I'll regenerate it now and see if we get an improved version. While this is processing, let's wait for all the videos to complete. You can see it turned out well. She's visibly eating with no awkward morphine. Everything looks as expected. After regeneration, you can see the consistent character video looks better than before, though it still needs some improvement, such as slowing the pace. The AI maintained the features of 
of Princess Kalani and the Black Jaguar, although some morphing still occurred. Like most AI tools, you might need to generate a few versions to get the desired result. Now that we've tested the consistent character video, video to anime and AI animation, the next feature to explore is AI video effects. These effects can be quite captivating depending on your project. I'll demonstrate the AI melt and squash effects, which can be great for specific movie effects or animated stories. I'll upload the initial monster image we animated, then apply the AI squash effect and AI explode effect. While these are generated Rating. Let's see how they turn out. The video for the melt effect is done. Let's check it out. It looks really funny how it melts and this could be perfect for specific moments in AI video generation. It's a cool effect. Next, let's look at the squash effect. This one turned out well too. Finally, the explosion effect. These features can be really important for creating specific effects in AI video generation, animation stories, or video stories. So keep in mind, where to find these effects. Now that we've covered AI video effects, let's move on to the image generator. In the AI image generator, you click on this and select a model. They have various options of Flux model. For this demo, we'll use Flux 1.1 Pro. You can also find models like Recraft, Ideogram, and Stable Diffusion, which are still coming. Next, enter a specific prompt and choose a style such as ultra realism or animation. For Flux 1, it generates one image at a time with a one to one aspect ratio. Click on create to start. While this is generating, you can choose another style like comic and generate again. The image is done and it looks pretty good for the image generator using Flux 1.1 Pro. The other one where I chose the comic style didn't quite turn out as expected. You can always regenerate or reprompt depending on your needs. Another great feature is that you can directly click on image to video from here to generate a video from the image. One more thing I'll test is image to image. Just like video to video, if you want to transform an image into something different, you can do that too. Here, you select the right model. Let's use Flux here and then upload the same image. After that, you can type in what you want the image to become. I just typed in monster running to see how it would change the image. You can also use the magic prompt to enhance the prompt for the image you're generating. Choose the output image and click create. These are the results which look pretty funny but depending on what you want to create the image to image functionality can be quite useful. Now I'll try Flux 1.1 Pro and generate this again to see the result. Using the 1.1 Pro model the result turned out pretty well though it almost resembles a bird. It's quite close to the previous image. Another thing to mention is that the AI tool suite includes other functions functionalities like face swap. While I won't cover all of them, we've explored key features like video upscaler and video to video, which are useful for extending your content. Overall, this suite of tools is excellent for testing multiple models and specific purposes, especially for anime. However, be mindful of credit usage if you're creating multiple or heavy videos. I was conservative to avoid running out of credits before finishing the tutorial. Lastly, all your generations can be found in the My Generations folder where you can see everything you've created. If you want to download anything you've created, just click on the three ellipses button. You can choose to publish, download, share or copy the link. Click on download and you'll be prompted to choose with or without a watermark. Select without watermark and it will download directly to your computer. After a month of testing different all-in-one AI platforms, Polo AI definitely stood out. With access to top video and image generation models all in one place, it offers a lot for creators like me looking to streamline their workflow. 
That said, using an all-in-one platform often means sacrificing some of the unique features and specialized tools that individual platforms offer. While Polo AI brings impressive convenience, it's important to weigh that against the advanced capabilities you might lose from standalone tools. So is Polo AI worth making the switch? It depends on your needs, but for many creators, the simplicity and cost savings might be worth it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are you considering trying Polo AI? Let's discuss. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more AI tool reviews and content creation tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.